Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I installed pedal steering for a Johnny Boats Bass 100 kayak with a rear or stern mounted trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. This is a one quarter inch diameter irrigation tubing which is rated for use in outdoor environments. This is a 1.8 millimeter diameter Dyneema cord, which is also rated for outdoor environments. This is a pulley. This is a stainless steel one quarter inch cable clamp. This is a one quarter inch cable clip, if you can see it like that. And it comes with 3M VHB tape as a backing. This is a stainless steel rail mounted eyelet with an M6 thread and lock nut. And this is an S beaner which will attach the steering line to the trolling motor. I wanted to show a view of the Bass 100 outboard motor mount before I go ahead and do any modifications to it. This is looking towards the rear. Coming around to the side. And this is a front view. So you'll be able to see what little changes I'm going to make to them. Okay, again, this is a view of the outboard motor mount, and as you can see, there's these tabs here, and they have holes in them already, and that's so you can run the control lines for the handled steering for this Bass 100. But what I'm going to do is use these stainless steel M6 loops as guides for my control lines. So I'm just going to put it through the hole here and then I'll tighten down the lock nut and that's what I'm going to use to guide my steering lines to this pulley that I've already installed and I'll get into that in a little better detail again this is a view of the rear section of the kayak with the outboard motor mount and as you can see down there there's that exit area and you have the channels in there and that's made so you can run a rudder if you want and then run the control lines up through here and up along the inside of the gunnel here all the way up To the pedals but I'm not going to be using the rudder because that has a very limited area of turning radius and so that's why I decided to go with my setup for the trolling motor and also I'm going to be using those channels to lay down my quarter inch irrigation tubing that I'm going to use for my steering line guides This is a view of one of the pulleys that I mounted to the rear of the kayak. Now, as I showed you earlier, this is one of the pulleys that I'm going to be using, and you can find them, and I'll put a link in the narrative. And these are attached together with a bolt setup. So what I did was remove those and replace it with just with this stainless steel screw so I could mount it directly to the hull of the kayak. And I don't have exact measurements or tell you exactly where to place it back here. I did it by eye, and this is how I did it. As you see up here, this is one of the eyelets I'm using that's going to guide my steering line. So first thing I'm going to do is thread it through the pulley and then up through this line. And I got some high-vis stuff, so it'll help. So once I had that in there, 
I just held this down and determined where this exits the pulley because I wanted it to be about a quarter of an inch in front of the extra rail that I mounted back here because that's where I'm going to put the tubing and I'll show you that later as well. So once I figured out where that would be, I marked the holes, drilled them through, and used some sealant when I put it all together. And that's how it worked. Okay, I wanted to show you how I ran the irrigation tubing for my steering. And if you go and you look here, you can see there's that quarter inch insulated clamp that I have on the rear edge of my steering guide tubing. And what I was able to do was use an existing hole that was holding one of the pad eyes there so I didn't have to drill it out. Then going up a little bit further, you can see that I have those plastic wire snaps with the VHB adhesive. And I'm using those to go up and down into the channel. And that should be strong enough that if not, I can always replace them with other pad eyes. And then as we come up and over, it goes out. And I also wanted to have the front exit area secured with that quarter inch clamp as well to make sure nothing moves. Now, in order to remove the pedal so you can drill a hole through it and attach the Dyneema cord, you first have to remove this screw here that holds this bracket in that holds this whole piece in here. Because what I want to do is drill the little hole right in the side here to connect the pedal to my steering line. And when you do that, this is what you come up with. This one's already out, and you can see... I've got the little hole drilled there, so this is what it should look like. Okay, towards the middle of the kayak where the foot pedal is, you can see I have my Dyneema cord coming out from the tubing guide and being attached to the pedal. And then I'm going to come around the back and you can see, again, the line going through there. And going through there, coming out. Through the rear exit, going through the pulley, going through the eye right there, and then it goes up through this center eye, and then up towards one of the steering control arm sides, and the same is for the other side there, down through the center, down, and to this pulley, and again, up through the tubing. and out to the pedal. I want to give an explanation of my steering system. Now, the basics of it I've used on many other builds and you'll see them in other videos that I've done. But with this build, again, you have the cord coming through this pulley here and then it's going to the eye which is attached to the Johnny Boats outboard motor mount and then it's going to the center eye there which is attached to the stock mount of the trolling motor using a kayak rail again through the eyelet and then it goes up to each side of the steering control arm. Normally I would run this from the arm through the center eye and then to a spot on the hull of the kayak but because of the way this is open on this end, I couldn't do it. And so this worked out really well that I was able to bring down the angle enough using this and then bring it back to where it would line up with the pulley and then work really well with the foot pedals. I'm going to give a demonstration on how the steering actually works. Now in order to adjust the line running from the foot pedal all the way back here to the steering control arm, it's just a lot of hit or miss and measure and remeasure until it finally gets to where it needs to be. So I think I've got it to where it's going to give me an almost 90 degree turn on each end. So I'll go out there and unlock the pedals and then move them back and forth.
So that's going to give a very good radius of turning for this kayak. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.